This is BBN, Verbally Vicious News, with your anchor, Daryl Horner. What's happening? Good afternoon, YouTube. Good afternoon, Verbally Vicious Nation. As I sit here and enjoy yet another Sobe sugar-free adrenaline rush, I say to you what the title says. Bill O'Reilly, you are bad for this country. Before we get into that, let me touch back on yesterday's video. Let me try and keep my cigarette lit, too. I don't know what's up with cigarettes lately. But it's like they don't want us to waste one bit of tobacco. They want to get us as addicted as possible. If you're a smoker, have you had that problem lately? Are your cigarettes going out? Let me know. Let me touch on something from yesterday. I said what I said, and I stand by what I said. I will defend Asa. I'll defend Kevin. I'll defend anybody that are friends of mine. So don't be somebody on YouTube who comes to me and tells me I don't know what I'm talking about when I was there. Let's move forward. Bill O'Reilly... You're a senile, pus-filled, postulating pansy of a pussy. I was going to come up with a bunch of P stuff today, but actually you're just an annoying old coot who is a cynic. Didn't you used to work for A Current Affair, and now we're supposed to listen to you like you know what the fuck you're talking about? Ever? Today on A Current Affair, Dolly Parton's titties. Are they bigger or are they smaller? We'll all find out together later. You're so important, Bill O'Reilly. You're so awesome. But here's why I'm annoyed with you today. You're a fucking cynic. You're not even like Ann Coulter or the right-wing clan people who hit me up all the time who truly believe what they say. You're a cynic. You're a liberal in real life. You're someone who believes in taking care of this nation and looking out for everyone, but you know that there's no money or no place for you at Fox News if you act that way. So you act like you're just the opposite. You're a cynic. You preach this fucking right-wing agenda of yours because you know people love it and people will buy it and you will sell, 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 sell books, sell DVDs, sell fucking I Love Bill O'Reilly's cock t-shirts. You'll sell the shit out of all of it. And none of it means anything is you don't believe any of it. So you are the worst of the worst. You are a cynic, someone who spits things out of their mouth and doesn't believe in what they're saying simply to get attention. That doesn't happen here on this page. When it comes out of my mouth, I stand behind it 100%. Unless someone changes my mind, then I will reevaluate it and do a new video. But you, sir, first of all, how dare you talk about the internet? And especially YouTube and videos like that, you ripped into Obama girl saying all she does is writhe around on camera. You made fun of the website she works for. You acted like being popular on the internet isn't really being popular. That no one's really seeing it. Are you that disconnected? You do know of this, this thing called the interweb where people log on and watch shit all day long by the millions, Bill O'Reilly. I would suffice it to say that quite possibly, even though I only have a few thousand viewers a day, at the most, most of them know more about me than they know about you, Bill O'Reilly. And I can go to sleep at night knowing that everything I said I stood behind and I am not a cynic. You, sir, are a piece of shit. You, Ann Coulter, the stupid blonde cunt from The View, should all be piled up and shipped somewhere because that's what you'd like to do to us. So that's what we would like to do to you. Continuing on. An eight-year-old kid murdered his dad and another dude. What should we do about it? What should be done? Let me tell you what we should do about it. I don't have a fucking clue. I am not touching that with your dick. I'm not getting near it. That is the most insane shit on the planet. But before we start saying, let's put this kid in prison forever. Or let's cut him loose. Let's do this. You just need to toss a let's put him in prison forever shit out the window. As an eight-year-old brain, that is a malformed brain, brain that is not done growing yet. So if you feel that that kid is that evil, just kill him now. Now look, I don't think you should kill him. I, I, I don't know what should be done. But if you want to put this person in prison for the next 70 years, that's something in your agenda. That's something that you jerk off to. Yeah, another human's being held captive, and it's all because of me. So how to deal with that, I have no idea. But this whole shit about putting him in prison until the day they fucking die and he's eight years old is absolutely bonkers. There was a lady somewhere out west that they thought had a brain tumor. And I know Danielle's going to react horribly in the background of this, but she didn't have a brain tumor, people. She had a worm. Right. There... <laughs> 
she had a worm in her brain. A fucking worm. Creepy. Blech. You already ate though. Danielle had Subway and Rice Krispie Treat. <coughs> this video means nothing today. And that's okay because it's a holiday week. We're going to have fun. I'm going to tell you about a couple new super great important things. Number one. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you've checked out the other videos. I hope you enjoy tuning in. I do want to say that we're going to be starting our second annual Willie's Loose Cannon Comedy Contest, the Midwest Next Big Thing Contest. And this year we'll be doing it on YouTube. So we're going to be putting up comics on our Loose Cannon page and you'll be able to vote on their performances. And once everything gets voted in, sometime after New Year, sometime in March probably, we'll be doing the finals live on Blog TV where you'll be able to vote for your favorite comic live worldwide on blog tv because unlike bill o'reilly i understand the importance of the internet and i understand the importance of you but starting today and for all the weeks to come there will be a featured comic of the week somebody from my club that i think is great and i'm going to put them on the front of my page today it will be the cowboy comic this guy looks just like tim mcgraw talks just like tim mcgraw he's funny as shit one of the nicest people on the planet i'm going to put his video on the front of my page for you guys to go over and rate comment subscribe check all that shit out going to be fun. And do not forget this. Shop.verballyvicious.com is now up. We now have Josh Denny's DVD CD package. We have the Verbally Vicious t-shirts available and we have my DVD Working Class Weed Man at a temporary $12.99. Kevin Kraft's shirt will be added as soon as he provides us with a picture of his shirt. So you can go to shop.verballyvicious.com and shop till you drop. Get t-shirts, get everything, it'll be awesome. So guys, make sure you check out the comic on the front of the page, go rate, go subscribe, comment on them, be positive. We're not leaving negative comments up here anymore, the shit's just getting old. And thank you guys for tuning in, and I don't know what else I was gonna say today. Oh, Thanksgiving is coming, what am I thankful for? Just each day I'm gonna say what I'm thankful for. Today is gonna be a weird thing. Today I'm going to say that I am thankful for lupus. I am thankful for the lupus that I got, that I got, and catch it hereditary not hereditary it's genetic it was in my system but I'm thankful for being diagnosed with this some three years ago because that is what pushed me into quitting everything and pursuing comedy full-time and it's how I make my living now and I couldn't be happier doing it and to be honest with you without lupus none of this would be happening I would be somewhere inspecting the kitchen at an olive garden so thanks lupus Tonight I'll be in Badness Heights, Minnesota, performing at Mad Jack's. Afterwards, myself and Danielle will be going to, not regular, but super Walmart. High as fuck with a few cocktails and it's just to stock up and hang out for Thanksgiving. Let me know what you're going to do for Thanksgiving this year, guys, because I will have a Thanksgiving that may involve no pants whatsoever because we're just going to sit around all day long and actually probably do ecstasy. So we'll do some videos from there. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you guys tomorrow. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, my name's Daryl Horner, and I approve this message. Later. This has been Verbal Vicious News with Daryl Horner. Rate, comment, subscribe.